Before we perform an example of how to mediate roommate disagreements, we want to introduce the topic of alternative dispute resolution, also known as ADR. To begin, the traditional method of resolving disagreements is through the court. The issue with going to court, however, is that it focuses more on the people than the problem, resulting in a winner and a loser. An alternative to court is mediation. In mediation, the focus is centered more on the problem than the people, thereby maintaining or improving the relationship between individuals. So, as an RA, you will be using mediation to resolve a variety of roommate disagreements and you will need to be a neutral third party in coaching them to come to an agreement on their own. One method you can use as an RA is called getting to yes. The getting to yes method has five essential steps. The first, people are not the problem. You want the roommates to set ground rules that will keep both parties focused on the issue at hand. Second, focus on interests or needs, not positions. Try to get the roommates to understand the other side. Have them ask why they need that particular outcome. Three, look for similarities, not differences. If you can identify similar needs, it will help them come to an agreement. Four, work on options. The more, the better, so the roommates can choose from them. Five, agree on criteria, and that will give you an agreement. Wanna come out and party? Nah, dude. I'll have to study for a test. Ah, you can study later. Nah, man. Can you just turn it down? If you're gonna go out, just do it. Just don't it's be loud. Too. Why can't I be a little loud? Dude, I'm studying, dude. It's a Saturday. Still, I have a test on Monday. Come on. Don't be that guy. All right, cool. Thanks, bud. Came home from the gym. Nice workout, bro. It's a nice day. Can, can Wait. you not? Why, dude? My fucking bed. Dude, it's just sweat. What's your problem with it? It's your sweat, and that's my bed. Fine. Nasty ass. Loser. Hey, man. Yeah, what's up? The sink is kind of dirty. Yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, you should probably clean it. Yeah. Cool. What's up, man? Hey, what up, dude? Dude, I just got this awesome game. Dude. You want to check it out? Uh, no, actually. I'm going to need you to leave. Why? Alex is coming over. Dude, seriously? This is like the third time this week. I'm... This is annoying. Yeah, but they're already on their way, so... Then what do you want me to do? Just leave for a little while. No. Fine, dude. What the hell, dude? Dude, just got back home, dude. Yeah, did you have to turn on all the lights? It's 3 a.m. Dude, it's my room, too. I need to put away my stuff and put my pajamas. Not everyone goes out that late on a Friday. Dude, I don't care. Just get the, get the lights. Dude, all right, all right. Jesus. Dude, get your bike out of the hall. What are you 
you talking about, dude? You're always leaving stuff all over the place. And you're always coming in late at night. So you always take me off of the room because you want to have your girlfriend over. Yeah, we're going to take out the trash. Nah, dude, you always take it all to my food. Sink. Nah, dude, you well, never buy any toilet paper. Come you on. Can. No, you yes, never do that's anything. Your responsibility. I'm I not your shit. wife. I'm yes. not your wife. Come on, dude. So? I don't we care. We can live together. Yes, but deal with this? I'm not going to go over you. Are you ridiculous? Like, no, you're I, ridiculous. I can't live with you anymore. Dude, please leave. Do me that favor. I need your help. With what? What's going on? I can't live in my room anymore. He, he's a pain in the ass. What happened? I don't know. I just need to move out. Calm, calm down. Um, would you want to talk with your roommate? or? I mean, I know you're saying that you want to move out, but like, is it... I mean, I think it would be better if we talked with Daniel to figure out like what's really going on. Yeah, I, I guess we can do that, but probably still going to move out. Um, well, let's see if we can avoid that. Um, do you know if Daniel's in your room? Uh, yeah, he should be. Okay, cool. Maybe we can do the mediation now. Okay. Yeah? Cool. Hey, Daniel. Um, so Ian came to me mm -hmm. to let me know that you guys have been having some problems. I mean, he mentioned that he wanted, you wanted to move out and stuff, so, um, I was wondering, like, do you feel the same, or...? Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't move out, I don't move out. I don't... I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, I mean, I can understand, like, some roommate problems just kind of, like, progress and get out of proportion and stuff like that. So, um, instead of focusing on moving out, because, you know, it's so close to the end of the semester, you only have a few more months to go kind of thing, I think it would cause more problems to be moving out than to just kind of work through this. Um, would you guys mind doing a mediation instead? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I guess. Okay, um, so um, I wanted to bring up the roommate agreement. Have you guys visited it at all, or? No, I don't remember. I didn't even knew we had one. Oh, okay. Well, remember you guys filled it out at the beginning of the year? Um, oh, that yeah. was. Okay. Um, yeah, but I mean, I have it here with me, but we can revise it if you guys want. Um, but first, to go through the mediation process to figure out what we were going to put on it, um, I just wanted to focus on the first <clears throat> on the first step, which is setting some ground rules. There are ground rules that you guys can set. So, what do you guys have in mind? No, I would say don't don't talk over me. No. Okay, don't no no name calling because that that's already gotten a hand. Okay. Um, I mean, take turns. I'm talking, I was saying still with the cows, same yeah. as the last one. I one person know. at a time. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess. Oh, no disrespect, that's it. Okay. Um, that sounds good. So the second step that we want to focus on is um, getting to the core of the problem. So what, who wants to go first on um, dis like discussing what has been problems that you've noticed? Well, I get sex out most of the time because he always wants to bring his girlfriend over. And when he wants to study, he always is bringing his friends over. It's really annoying. You know? mm -hmm. it's like, I'm trying to study, he's trying to hang out and have music blast all the time. It's really frustrating. Uh, he's got weird hours. Like the other day, he walked in and turned on all the lights while I'm trying to sleep. He's being loud. And the day before that, he put his nasty clothes after he went to the gym, just threw it all over my bed. Wait, I want to stop you. Um, just make sure you're not name calling, remember? Okay. Okay, so he had clothes all over your bed, or, or what? S sweaty post gym clothing. Oh, okay. It was all over the bed, and I didn't like that. And on top of that, his bike was always in the way, and I trip over it pretty much every day. Oh, okay. Um, so it sounds like cleanliness is an issue. Um, it sounds like being courteous is an issue. Um, um, and then Daniel, I think s the main problem that you've been having with Ian is, is cleanliness, is that right? Yes. Like what would be your ideal situation? I mean, my ideal situation would be he'd clean up his mess after himself and I don't have to clean after him because it looks, I feel like I'm always doing, taking the trash, 
or clean the sink, or if I mention that to him, he is passive aggressive about stuff. And I don't like it. He would just say like, oh, cool. Which is like, well, you can clean it up. You know, it's, it's like, there's not much effort on his end and my end. I feel that way. Does it sound about right you? I, I, I would argue the opposite. I, I, I think he comes back, uh, whether it's from the gym or, or late at night and he just throws his stuff everywhere and cre- creates a mess and then he expects that I'll just come later and once it's piled up and then he looks at me like I should have to clean it up and I don't, I don't agree. Hmm. What specifically parts um, Daniel are you focusing that like Ian has been cleaning? So like taking out the trash, have you guys been doing that equally, do you feel like, or? I don't think so. Uh, not really. I feel like I've been taking it away more of the times. And obviously the sink is the main thing, and you know, the bathroom area is oh, okay. the main thing we share. Okay. And it's pretty annoying. You know? Yeah. And Ian, what about for you? What would be your ideal situation? Uh, dirty clothes picked up, not all over the floor, um, not just having a dirty bike, it bumps into the wall and causes other messes in the room that has to be cleaned up, and, and on top of that, I trip on it, so it's, it's, it's not safe, so that's yeah, where I'm from. Um, okay, so the next step would be trying to find different options for each of these problems. What is most ideal to you guys? Hmm. Well, I mean, obviously I have to sleep. So yeah, definitely. when I'm doing that, it can't be a, uh, it can't be a loud in the room. What specifically was loud in the room? Is it like music? Just, just more his entrance. His entrance was was very loud. Okay, so just being courteous, maybe. Does that sound like a good option? Yeah, maybe maybe sneak in, sneak in the room type thing. Do you feel like that's avoid fair lights? You? Yeah, as long as you know. He gives me a heads up for giving me space to study, you know. It's, I can move from there if it gets to getting late, because, you know, between the day, I don't see a point of people hanging out in the room. I mean, I would say I can just go to the study room or to the library after 10 o'clock at night. Okay. But, you know, during the day, you know, I just want to be at my room and just like, be peaceful in there. Okay, that sounds fair. Does that sound like something you could do? Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess I can do that. Um, so that could be something that we add to the roommate agreement, which yeah. would be, um, so Fridays during the days would be set up for study. Yeah. Yeah? Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so the next thing would be, um, the coming in and stuff like that. So, um... So you mentioned like turning on the lights and just your entrance being loud. Would that be okay if like you yeah. turned on maybe one light just to like kind of see where everything is maybe and then yeah. you know, just quietly come in? Sounds good, yeah. I yeah. Mean, I can use my phone if it doesn't bother and the okay. light on my phone instead. Okay, and then um, what's one of the other problems that you guys mentioned? Um, cleanliness. So taking out the trash specifically and the sink and the bathroom area, and then you mentioned just like dirty clothes everywhere. Um, so how's, what are some options that you guys can think of too, that you guys can agree on? I mean, I would say just have like maybe a week he should clean the bathroom and next week I like take turns on that as well with the trash. but. I don't know how we can figure out the trash because it's not always filled at the same time. Yeah, but, that makes sense. You know, the the room, the bathroom is kind of like one week each. Turn, take turns in that. Does that sound fair? Yeah, yeah, I can do that, and, and we can uh, uh, maybe we can have a log, a, a sheet where it, it it's signed by the other person so that they know that it actually did get done too. Okay, yeah, so that, that way it's, good. it's documented. Yeah. So cleaning bathroom once a week. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, do you guys have like something that you guys can print up or um, I don't know, I can't think uh, like a log that you guys would make or would you yeah. want me to try to do that or? I mean, if you could, that would be better because I know you're not Okay, yeah, sure, I can print that up for you guys. 
Okay, um, the next scene would be um, cleanliness, like the clothes and stuff like that that you mentioned, right, Ian? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so about that, it just, I don't know, uh, is what it is, you're just going to have to get cleaned up. If it's, if it's your clothing, then maybe a uh, time frame, you know, I understand we're uh, both in a rush in class and, and work and whatever, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you got four or five hours where it can sit there and that needs to be picked up. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. So it's not fair. I mean, like hypothetical situation, like when you're trying to pack or whatever, and yeah. like you leave clothes out on the floor. Like, is is it specifically bothersome if like it's on his side of the room, or is it just because it's all over the the room? Y- yeah, it, it's on both sides of the room, but I mean, I get a lot of my bed and, and stuff too, so I, that's that's not cool because I sleep there. So at least like maybe try to keep it on your side of the room. Yeah. Um, if you can't pick it up, kind of thing, right then and there. Yeah. So it's not fair. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then what about the bike? Um. Do you not have a bike lock to like have it outside or? I mean, I had bad experience before. Like they stole it from there, and it's like campus didn't do anything. Exactly. Yeah. So I, that's why I have my room. I don't want to. Hey man, eight hundred dollars for a bike, you know? It's, yeah. It's um, have you tried bike. different bike locks for it, maybe? Mm, not really. Like mm. the cable one, or um. That's what I want to use. And oh, that's okay. From there, but, yeah. Um, or like the metal locks kind of thing. Maybe you can use that. I guess. I'm trying to do, figure out. Yeah, I I have an idea, and that is uh those little command hooks. Those things are pretty strong. You can stick it on the wall. Yeah, I mean, as long as as long as there's no like damage to the walls itself, you're more than yeah. welcome to do that as well. Yeah. Does that sound like something you can do? I'd rather Just to do try that. Just to keep it out of the way. I mean, it, it is a safety hazard as well. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Okay, yeah, that yeah. sounds good. Um, yeah. was there anything else that you guys wanted to focus on or? Yeah. Yeah, I have something like. He always bringing his girlfriend, and I don't think. Okay, so like, like oh yeah, yeah seven days. The she's sex there. thing. Um. So was there something like, what's your ideal situation with that? You know, my ideal situation would be like, if I'm not in the room, just give me a heads up. Try to do the bad time when I'm not in the room. He knows my working schedule. Maybe with the dad working time, it's eight hours he has by himself. You know, with her. Yeah. She doesn't have to be when I'm in my room trying yeah. to enjoy myself or just relax or take a nap. Yeah, I mean, it's food. your room too. Yeah, it's very exactly. acceptable. So I don't feel like it's very, you know, she's always there. It's like having another roommate. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd spend time with her, so you know, I got to make two people happy, and you know, her schedule is more than mine with his. So even though it doesn't have an eight hour gap, it's, it, it kind of is what it is. So I don't know. Okay, so what are some solutions that you guys can think of? Like you mentioned giving a heads up um, or scheduling, but I can understand like scheduling time that you're romantic or intimate with your partner like is difficult, obviously, like you don't want to schedule those things. Mm -hmm. Um, But is there some kind of system that you guys can think of or solution that you can think of? He could go to her place. I mean, she's been more than enough in ours. Yeah. You know, maybe just take the rest of the semester at her place. You know, really come back. Unless you just, like, want to hang out. I'm okay with that, but kicking me off is not cool. Yeah, I, I guess I could try that. I could try that. And then if it doesn't work out working, um, going just over to her place, what would you guys do then? I mean, it's not, I don't know. As long as she's not in my room, I'm okay. He can figure out. I don't know. It's her relationship, his. But you know. I don't know. Or we could, or we could. Uh, uh, I could text him more often. Give more of a heads up, so at least. 